Hi guys, welcome back to the channel Machining with Joe. We're taking a little break this week from the quick change tool post build which we've been doing over the last few videos to unbox and show you the new bit of equipment that I've got in the workshop. Over here I've got myself a 3D printer as you're probably well aware from the title and thumbnail of this video. So in today's video I basically want to unbox this thing, set it up, show you guys a little bit how to build it in case you're thinking of getting one of these and by the end of the video I'm hopefully going to get a test print out of this to make sure everything is working hunky dory. So that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. For now let's head over to the bench and start unboxing all this. Neptune 2. The printer that we're going to be setting up and testing out today then is a printer called the Neptune 2 and it's made by a company called Elegoo. I got this printer off of Amazon for my birthday and looking at the reviews of this thing online these printers look really good for the money that you pay for them. So to start off with then just going to unbox all this, lay all the parts out on the bench and we'll work through the instruction manual about how to build this, assemble it and set it all up ready to print. Straight out of the box then, everything seems to be in reasonable order, haven't so far seen anything damaged, the packaging was really good, so far so good, impressed with this thing. So I'm going to work through the instruction manual now, it's not a massive instruction manual but it's big enough not to bore you guys with every single detail in here. So I think I'm going to start to assemble this bit by bit and each section I go I think I'll come back and just show you how I'm getting on with the build and tell you guys if I thought it was difficult enough so start building this up We're getting there then slowly with the build process. So, so far I've got the two uprights in place. I've left them loose for now, just so I can get all the top part aligned up. I've also got the PSU mounted and we've got a limit switch down here mounted roughly to where it says to do it in the manual. So in the manual it says to leave about a five millimeter gap between the bottom base and this bracket. So that's what I've done now. Moving on next, I think probably going to start to get the top section put on. So I'm going to have to look at that now and crack on with the rest of this build. Right then, we've got the Elegoo Neptune 2 all set up now. Fairly happy of how that went together actually. Most of it fitted together really nicely. The only bit that was really, well not really awkward, but a little bit awkward, was getting all this belt and nozzle all mounted as one piece before it slotted on. 
So that bit took me a little bit of time, but the rest of it went together fairly simple. So I've loaded the free filament that came with the printer in, ready to do a test piece. But before I do that, I need to turn it on. I haven't even turned this thing on yet. So I'm going to turn it on, run through all the menus, familiarise myself with it. And I imagine the bed's going to need levelling. Because at the minute I've done nothing to it, I've literally just unboxed it. So, let's turn it on. Oh, there's a nice little beep. Elegoo. So I've got into the tooling section and I'm going to go to levelling. So first of all we need to start off with point zero. So the print is going to move into its home positions and bring the nozzle down. So it says to do this levelling just use a sheet of A4 paper or something of similar thickness. And basically you want to be able to get that bit of paper between the build plate and the nozzle. So when it finally gets down there. Doo -doo -doo. Right, so now it's at its sort of home position. What we need to do now is we need to wind these adjusters down here. Wind them down to bring that build plate down. That in turn will create a gap between the nozzle and the build plate. And once I've got a visible gap there, I'm going to slide my bit of paper in and just see if it can get in there. So, not quite. Yeah, it's in there now. So, move over to point two and do the same test. Point three. Um, basically, this all this is really doing is going around each point on the table and just making sure it's all level. So that's the four points. Now I'm hoping point five, which is in the middle, is going to be level because there's no real adjustment I'm going to be able to do here. Now I've adjusted the four corners. Well, we can get a bit of a bit of paper under it, but the gap is quite big under there. So I think I'm going to go do the four corners again and try getting that tolerance a little bit tighter. Now I've got the bed all level then. I can begin to feed in the filament wire all the way to the head. So I've manually pushed it down as far as I can. Next thing I need to do now is go to the extrusion head and do I click extrusion, tool, extrude and then click in. In. So now I've selected extrusion in, it seems to be preheating the nozzle. It says on here it gets up to 200 degrees centigrade, so what are we at now? We're at 110 so far. So I suppose once that's extruded, well, once that's heated up, sorry, I'll then be able to pump out some filament. Oh, there we go. We've got some filament start to come through now. Let's push a little bit more out. So this is almost like purging the system. As we've just put some new filament in there, it needs to purge almost all the air out or all the void where there wasn't any filament. And now we've got some come through. That's good to go. So using the nice scraper they gave me, I'm gonna just remove that. Now going through the instruction manual, it seems like we're good to go. 
So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to load up the memory card they've given me with a test print, stick that on and we'll see how it comes out. So the system's just preheating at the minute and once it's done so, I believe it should automatically go into printing the test piece that we've done. So Enigu call this a Buddha, not too sure how big it's going to be, looking online I think they're only small. So, not even entirely sure how long this is going to take, but I'm going to just leave it running and see what happens. Overall then, first impressions of the Elegoo Neptune 2, thumbs up from me. This thing seems really good. It's going to be a really good asset to the workshop, to prototype parts before making them out of actual metal. And it's just a really handy tool to have around the house. And you never know, people might come to you with ideas. Now you've got a 3D printer, you're going to make loads of friends. So, I'm going to move this into the house now. Because it's not going to be staying in here. It's too cold, too damp. It's going to be living inside the house. Thank you for watching this video. Not too sure how this is going to come out. Because there's a lot of parts where I needed to be in the camera sort of view. So, hope this comes out not too bad for you guys. Other than that, thanks for watching. Stay tuned because we're going to be back on the Quick Change Tool Post next week. Have a good week guys. Happy machining.